Today I'm talking about something I call a MacGyver kit. It's a kit of ordinary stuff from around the house that you might forget if you go on a trip or somewhere. As an example, you might forget an extension cord or a fork or a book of matches. So I put this thing together. I call it a MacGyver kit. MacGyver was a show in the 80s starring Richard Dean Anderson as Angus MacGyver. He would create fixes to various situations using just whatever was laying around, household things. Without further ado, let me open up my MacGyver kit. I'll go through what's in there. I haven't looked at it in a while. So here is the MacGyver kit. This isn't my artwork. I found this online. I'll put a link in the description. Based on a picture of MacGyver holding a missile or a torpedo or something. And this is just a standard box from Tap Plastics. I'm not sure if they still sell it. It's their large size little case box. If I open this up, we'll see that it's packed full of all kinds of stuff. Like I said, I haven't looked at any of this stuff in a while, so I don't remember all of what's in here. I'll just go through it kind of randomly. All right, so I've got a glue tape thing. I've got a series of AC things, so a uh, three-prong to two-prong adapter, uh, a three-output adapter, uh, light bulb adapter. Um, this is an LED light bulb, missing the dome to make it a little easier to fit in here. Um, a ratcheting screwdriver with a bunch of bits, so that can be handy. Never know when you need to be able to fasten something. Uh, what do we have here? A container full of rubber bands and thumbtacks. Uh, this is a hard disk platter, but it could also be a reflector or a mirror, a signaling device or something. Um, see if I can try to get a reflection going to the camera. There, there we go. A variety of little tiny alkaline batteries. Some other kinds of, I guess, lithium batteries, 2025s, 2032s. A little mini LED flashlight. It has a little bit of light left, not much. A lighter. That works. And we're going to a variety of different kinds of tape. So this is, what is this? I think this is like fabric tape, maybe. Some super glue, uh, some heavy duty affixing tape. I've got some duct tape, which is also day glow orange, so it can work both as tape and as a signaling device of some kind. Um, also a writing surface, a USB charger and micro USB adapter, a little red light. This is an FRS walkie-talkie. Looks like the antenna plastic has broken. Ah, yes, the extension cord. That was the original inception for the whole idea. It was missing an extension cord at a hotel. A Tide pen. It's great if you're trying to save a nice shirt and it just got a nasty grease stain or something in it. Um, a WD-40 pen. A temperature probe. I wonder if the batteries are still good. A rubber eraser. A screwdriver with multiple bits, two different sizes of Phillips and flat blade. Uh, four AA batteries. I should check if those are any good still. A bad AAA battery that needs to be thrown out in a 9 volt. This is a pocket chainsaw, something that my brother gave me. Looks like a bike chain and it basically is sort of half a bike chain and half saw blade. A black sharpie, a knife with the break-off segment so you can resharpen the point, a compass that could come in handy if you're stuck somewhere, a measuring tape, I think it goes up to six feet. This is my old Motorola Razor phone. And my thought was that in an emergency, I would be able to at least use the 911 feature if I can charge it. Big old roll of quarters. Binder clips. A USB 
a lighter socket charger and a USB light, some alcohol cleaning pads, a little pouch. All right, I've got a hundred dollar bill right there and some checks, um, a brush for uh, the aforementioned utensil, some scissors, uh, what you call like a Leatherman tool or something. So we've got pliers and then a bunch of other various tools and things. A highlighter because you never know when you might need to highlight something in an emergency. <laughs> Another one of these little screwdrivers with the multiple bits, except it's got really tiny teensy weensy ones. Paintbrush. A um, five second glue, UV glue, tweezers, a life straw. So supposedly you can drink from a dirty toilet or sewage, a creek or something. My mom bought this for me at one point, which I thought was a nice gesture. Uh, the aforementioned box of matches, various wire ties of different sizes, including kind of handcuff size that could be handy, I guess, in certain emergencies. A quick grip. Those are very useful for things. A couple of forever stamps, a compact flash card, and um, some other memory cards. Let me see what I've got in here. I've got a micro SD and a SD adapter, and another SD adapter with a mini instead of a micro, and then just a standard compact flash, although I don't know why I would need that these days. A uh, microfiber cloth, some Velcro tape, which is handy for various things. Uh, <laughs> you never know when you might need 3D glasses, which is true. This is from the Family Guy Blue Harvest DVD. Um, so yeah, you don't ever want to be in an emergency and need 3D glasses to get out of it. And then some bags of different sizes. One common thing I would forget to bring with me would be a bag for dirty laundry. So that's kind of nice. I've got some aluminum foil. Uh, envelope to go with the stamps. A bag of little baggies of various kinds. A forehead thermometer. Finally, I have a magnifying glass, a Fresnel credit card size magnifier. Obviously there's other stuff I could be adding to the MacGyver kit. Maybe a USB charger would be nice. In other words, a battery charger. What else would be nice? I'm not really sure. That is my MacGyver kit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.